Despite the crisis rocking the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the party is going ahead with preparations for the commencement of its presidential campaigns for the 2023 general elections without the embattled governor of River State, Nyesom Wike, and members of his team. Now, this is as the party's presidential candidate, al Haji Tikwa Bubaka, assured that this agreement among members would be resolved very soon. Wike and his supporters had on Wednesday pulled out of the campaign council of the party's presidential candidate and vowed not to play any role until the national chairman of the party, Senator Yocha Ayu, resigned. Well, joining us to this cost and break this down is Chidi Lloyd. He's a chairman in Moha, local government area in River State, and Frank Shaibu, special assistant public communications to Atiku Abubaka. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you, Mary Ann, for having me. Great. Very good to be here. Great. Thank you, gentlemen. I I'll start with you, um, Dr. Lloyd, because um, the, the s several people and, of course, reactions have trailed uh, that announcement that um, supporters of Governor Wike had decided that they were going to withdraw from the campaign council of the presidential candidate of your party. Um, and, of course, Governor Wike had... Uh, had a media parley on Friday, which we all watched, and he, he made some very interesting statements. But then the big question is, um, if your members or the, your supporters or the people on Governor Wike's side uh, decide to not support your presidential candidates, what does that mean for the P PDP and, of course, the campaign in general? Well, Mary, uh, I want to thank you and thank Nigerians for, for, for uh, listening to this program. Uh, what you've asked, the question you've asked is futuristic. Uh, what would happen if they decide to? Uh, the question now is that from the, 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 the Wiki camp has made its demands known to uh, the presidential candidates and members of his uh, campaign organization. You recall that uh, the presidential candidate uh, said he was taken aback uh, to hear that uh, other members of the campaign, other members of the Wiki campus, it were that we are named in the campaign organization withdrew. That every every state made nominations into the campaign organization, save for River State, which means uh, River State has already been asterisked as one state where it doesn't matter whether or not they are in the campaigns. So we 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 are not uh, we are not surprised at what is going on, but we still maintain that. On the demands of the Wiki camp, which is the most realistic demand that will help us to win the elections in 2023. Uh, because we still believe that every part of this country must move together, uh, especially when the presidential candidate is referred to as a unifier. So we want to start to unify now before we win, so that we know what we are into. So that's exactly the point. And we maintain that. You know, you... you you, you, in your introductory remark, you did say that the embattled governor of River State. I don't think that is very charitable. The governor of River State is not embattled, can never be embattled. So what we are saying is that we are making our demands known, you know, as, as Southerners. Uh, we are saying that, uh, uh, forget what has happened. You recall that these Southerners had met in Asaba and Lagos. In fact, incidentally, the vice presidential candidate of uh, to uh, former vice president Atiku Abubaka hosted their Sabah meeting where all of them uh, agreed that they were going to have a southern president. But some others do have them, like I always say. But this position is still, it hasn't changed that you must go and the south, a, a, a chairman of southern extraction will come on board so that all of us will be in the in the in the campaign. And this 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 is made. Uh, this this becomes imperative because of the nepotic tendencies we have seen in the Buhari administration. So we don't want to uh, make any mistakes this time. Okay. Southerners must sit on the table. Okay, I'm curious because you said something. I just want to take you back to that before I go to Frank. Uh, you said something about the fact that um, it's the most realistic thing to do to win the election. So you're saying that with... The chairman that you have now, that the PDP is not capable of winning the elections? Are you? Re I, I mean, I'm well, trying to understand. Mary Ann, it, it, is, it, is, it is visible to the blind and audible to the deaf that a cross-section of, of the country are saying that they are not part of the election. 
And even to the chagrin of the former vice president, Atibu Abubakar, who incidentally is our candidate of the party, has also said that he was, he was taken aback uh, to see that all the others who made rep representations resigned. And Marianne, it's important to tell you that it is, it is not just Governor Wike that is in this camp. There are other sitting governors, governors of states, former governors who are leaders of who are leaders of their states, leaders of the party in their states, former senators, former ministers, and, and what have you. So this, I don't think uh, uh, it is something anybody, any serious politician, should joke with. But I'm happy uh, to hear you say that uh, the candidate has assured that these problems will be resolved in less than no time. So we, the ball is actually in his court. And we have no doubt in our mind that he will uh, he would, he would do the needful. Uh, let me come to you, Frank. Um, th this conversation has been ongoing for weeks and weeks. I've had you here in the studio in person to talk about, you know, this situation when it started at the beginning. But here we are again. Now it's full-blown. Uh, owing to what the chairman of Emoha has said, that without IU, the PDP can win the elections. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, is IU such a, um, a problem to the PDP as he speaks? Frank, I think you need to um, unmute yourself. Yeah, can you hear me, Miriam? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Go ahead, please. Hello. I can hear you. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Um, your question is clear. Um, for me, the demands of uh, Governor Wiki and his team, and members of his team, uh, are legitimate, genuine, and germane. Uh, it is within their rights, but it is not within the powers of the presidential candidates to remove IU. You know, and that he has stated in clear terms before now. But that notwithstanding, you know, I've said it times and times without number, that the uh, that the, um, the, uh, the election to the office of the president or to any office for that matter, that power belongs to God Almighty and not for uh, it does not belong to any man, not even those, not even uh, Bola Metinibu, who claims to be the maker of President Muhammad Buhari, can lay claim to the fact that he owns power and he can give power, you know, and as such, I will not deify. Or I will not be a part of any anybody who would want to to, to go out to go into the what I call the deification of any human being. You know, the bottom line is the fact that the presidential candidate, His Excellency Atiko Baker, has deep re respect for His Excellency Governor Nelson Wiki, and that's why I said, look, he, the demands of his team are legitimate. But that notwithstanding, with profound respect and utmost humility, I'll tell you that whether I, um, even deities. Even deities can be pacified. People pacify deities. Some of them, some they pour libations of them. Some they take a Google or kind kind to them, and some take a kula nuts and order to pacify deities. For this, in whatever, in what thing like um, these agitations, I remember listening to Governor Newsom week a few days ago when he did the national broadcast, and I was excited when he, when in his own in his own lips, he he talked about um, he compared the uh, Kamala Harris the current vice president of the United States of America, um, as, uh, to himself, particularly as it relates to, the, to her nomination as vice presidential candidate, to Joe Biden, the current president of the USA, before that election, and how she was one of the major critics of uh, Joe Biden before that election, and in the, in the keenly contested primary election, as it were. And I was very excited. I was excited because, you know, that was a very suitable and uh, wonderful comparison. You know, and I now, at that point, I now had to uh, uh, draw a line. And I looked at it and I placed it on a scale of rectitude. And I said, look, come on, assuming Governor Nelson Wiki was, in fact, were appointed or nominated as vice presidential candidate, our running mate to His Excellency Atiku Abubakar, will this agitation, particularly as it relates to the, south, the southern part of Nigeria, will, lead, will, will, lead, uh, will we be where we are today concerning this agitation I want to believe the answer is in the negative. Because he made it a case while he was in, making that national broadcast. And I looked at it on, an, on another scale. And I said, come on. If you're talking of southern Nigeria, 
Because in one breath, he mentioned that particular situation and likened himself to, to Kamala Harris of uh, the U.S. And in another breath, when he was mentioning, you know, positions within the PDP that had been allocated, particularly as it relates to the national chairman, as it relates to those, those who take decisions within the party, that is about the national chairman, the candidate, and uh, the director general of the campaign organization. And I said, no. His Excellency suddenly forgot to mention the office of the vice presidential candidate or the running mate to the presidential candidate, an office he sought to, whether, whether he sought to or his, his supporters, uh, you know, wanted him to, or the candidates, you know, to, uh, you know um, um, a thought of him occupying such a position because three names were shortlisted before a final pick was made. And for me, if he could liken himself to, to Kamala Harris, I expect that he should have um, um, value, um, you know, uh, mentioned that office particularly and given it the value and reverence with which he mentioned the DG of the campaign and all that. Not forgetting too that the current vice presidential candidate is from the southern part of Nigeria. It is from the, so you don't diminish that office because you want to score a political point. The issue is that they all, you see, but the beautiful thing I'm excited about is that um, a majority of his friends and associates, you know, who are members of his team and who are leading this agitation, particularly have only left what I call the bedroom to the sitting room. They have not left the house. So we are still one political party, one big family. And I believe, like the presidential candidate said, His Excellency Ati um, this is, this is, uh, um, a, a situation we have on our hands that is redeemable, and I'm sure that um, in no time um, it will be tidied up and we'll move on as one big family. For us, nobody, nobody has ever and will ever demean River State as a state, neither will we or anybody close to associated with or who works with His Excellency Atiko Obaka demean or say anything or cast aspersions on His Excellency Governor Nelson Wiki. He is our own, he's a poster, one of the poster boys of, of, of the PDP uh, as a political party. And, and he has done very well in the state in terms of developmental strides and in terms of um, uh, uh, conscious mobilization of his people, particularly in, in chasing away the do nothing APC government in River State as well as in Nigeria. He's been a leading voice in terms of. Uh, not just criticisms, but one of the voices who's offered who's offered um, solution, you know, in terms of leadership opportunities. That hey, look, if I were president, this is what I would have done to tackle this and tackle that. I'll give you an example. Today, as we speak, there's a collapse of the national grid. Total collapse of the national grid. This is for the eighth time. The eighth time we're talking of the collapse of the national grid. And for us, this that that, that should be something that will bother should bother us as a people. And what did Atiku Abubakar say? He said it times to that number that look, the moment his first port of call will be to start what we call an emergency power program, you know, which will be, uh, you know, in the short term and move into what we call the, the, the total removal of what we call the electricity value chain, you know, from the exclusive list, you know, by mobilizing a, a, a team, a conscious team, you know, that would, would draft that, that form of that kind of legislation. And I thank God, um, uh, the Honorable Chairman, who is a former legislator and a former majority leader, um, in River State, you know, knows what we are talking about as it relates to you no know, devolution of powers. I, I want, when, I want, when, I want to bring you back. I want to bring you back. I'm sorry, you're no. taking us away from the conversation. Jane, I want to bring Mary, you back. Mary Jane, Mary Jane, Mary Jane, if only you allow me to round off, then you can bring me back. Okay. You know, so so if we remove that, if we remove that from the exclusive list, and we give states the power to generate, transmit, and distribute electricity, you know, at that point, which will be our second point, which will be like a a, a, a midterm program. You now finally move into what we call the incentivization of the private investors, you know, to 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 invest in the development of the greenfield and mini grid uh, uh, transmission systems, which we can now, you know, which can now be looked into what we call um, uh, the, the the super grid in the uh, at, at right. the national level. We're well, veering off, and we I want to bring you back, Mr. Shaibu. I'm sorry, you're veering off. We're not talking about energy. We're not talking about the five points agenda, or ten points agenda of the Atiku administration. We're talking about how to deal with the party situation now. I want to ask a very direct question. Um, I hear that we have had reports that you're going ahead with the campaign, the campaign of uh, Atiku Abubakar. Of course, we know that um, next week the ban will be lifted and campaigns will begin in earnest. But my question is, 
if the if the Southern Caucus, I'd rather not say Governor Wiki, the Southern Caucus is saying we're not going to move a muscle until this is done. We will not participate in this campaign until this is done. Will you risk going ahead with that campaign um, without the Southern Caucus? Because we always make it look like it's Governor Wiki. It's the River State. But then we also have a Governor Shea Mackinde. We have Chief Body George, who's a, a senior chieftain in the party. And we have several other people from other parts of the Southern Caucus. So again, can your party risk starting a campaign without mending these fences? Again, like I said, we have a few days before campaigns begin in earnest. Yeah, Mary Jane, the truth is this. <laughs> Whether we like it or not, INEC is the umpire, the unbiased umpire in this. And when you say that, look, they talk about power has no bearing on what we're talking about, that is fallacious and, and uh, uh, a vituperation of zero consequence. Because I put it to you that Atiku does not want to be president of the PDP, he wants to be president of Nigeria. So when we're talking about a national problem, something happened today, I'm sure where you are now, you are running on a generating plant. So it is about Nigeria. So he is not aspiring to be president of the PDP. So you cannot, you cannot divorce that from whatever is happening in the, in, in the PDP. So if, if, if I have to refer to that, because he wants to be president of Nigeria, and we are prepared to lead the, to, to lead the charge. So as we speak, it is not about risking going ahead with the campaign. Campaigns officially should flag off on the 28th. And if it is to flag off, while other things are going on, other negotiations, consultations, discussions, peace moves are going on, of course, you don't expect Atiku Abubakar and the PDP campaign uh, structure to fold his hands and arms and limbs and sit on one spot because um, uh, reconciliation is ongoing. It is not done anywhere. You, know, you understand me? Sometimes you tactically withdraw so that you can strategically advance. So it's a matter of strategy, and I know that all machinery have been put in place, and I'm sure and I'm confident. And uh, don't forget to Governor Nelson Wiki, you know, gave a window that look, it is not he has not foreclosed this discussion. He has his, 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 his doors are open himself and his team and all that. When we mentioned when you you are not the spokesman, Mary Jane, you're not the spokesman for Governor Wiki. When you say, oh, it's not about Governor Wiki, it's about the Southern well, Caucus. No. I put, no, 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 with profound respect. He is the leading voice. He's the Governor leader of that Wiki, that this is He's a Southern Caucus situation. Yeah, the, 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 so the, I'm the, telling you what the, I have no, heard from these no, conversations no, no. that I've had. I'm not a member of the PDP, yeah. but I'm telling you that every time we have this conversation, they say it's not about Wiki, it's a Southern Caucus situation, and these are the people who are agitating. Hence my question. I'm not a spokesperson uh, for them. Why, and, that, and that was why... No, that, you see, that was why when I started, I started by letting you know that even the vice presidential candidate of the PDP is from southern Nigeria. He's from Niger Delta. You understand? There, there is nobody who can claim, who can lay claim to be more southern than, 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 uh, than uh, Dr. Ifan, y uh, Ifan Yokoa. So he's, 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 a Niger, he's, he's from the Niger Delta. He is from the South South. He is from southern Nigeria. And you see, the, the demands we're talking about, oh, are you must go, are you must go. Of course. It's like I said earlier, it's legitimate. But the issue is this how would I you go? Prefer solutions. Okay. It is not about making conjectures. It's see, listen, it's not about sitting down to make conjectures and, and dramatizing, oh, how you must go. This is the position of the South South. No. Mary, okay. I, I, I guess I, I didn't I did come not, to not I think I want to I, I think I want to no, give no, no, uh, Dr. Lloyd a chance to speak because I th I see him eating and he has I, some I, responses. I, didn't, I wasn't imagined to merely listen to uh, my brother uh, Frank's uh, lecture on power devolution. <laughs> the subject matter here is whether the article camp can afford to go into the campaigns without the Southern Caucus. Neither, this is neither exactly we, what I want neither to say. We here, neither are we here. Neither are we here. Neither are we here to listen to postulations. This is not a lecture theater. We are here to conceptualize ideas, and as such, this is not a media trial. If we're having a conversation, we should do it in the, in the most decorous manner. So when I'm talking about power devolution, I'm talking about emergency. There was an emergency today, and it's about Nigeria. Atiku doesn't want to be president of the PDP. He wants to be president of Nigeria. So if I if I tackle and Marianne, I attack the issue Marianne. of power of power devolution, Marianne. you should be um, You are a member of the PDP. You should be interested. Marianne, in your am I protected? Am I protected? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Shaibu, can, can you allow him to just come in here? I think he has a few thoughts to share. Go ahead. Well, I, I, want to quickly, I want to quickly correct an impression. When uh, my brother Frank uh, Shaibu was talking, he, he, it's important that when we speak, 
we speak within a, a, a context. The reference he made to Governor Wigan's interview about uh, Kamala Harris and uh, Joe Biden was said within a milieu. It was said within a milieu. It was said within a context. So it is not it is not charitable to to harvest that and say it outside the context in which the governor of River State used that. Well, however, that is not the the we are not reviewing the the interview that uh, the media chat that the the very revered governor of River State had uh, a few days ago. What is important is that, like uh, uh, Frank would make you uh, want to believe. It is not about Governor Wiki. And when I started my intro, intro, I did say that you have Governor Shei Makinde, Governor Samuel Otom, just as you can see on your screen there, Governor Ogeze Ibazo. And the governor of Rivers, they did say in his media interview, and that there are a host of others whom they have told not to, not to, not to, not to speak yet. So I don't, it portends a lot of danger for the People's Democratic Party. And I want to say this. When my brother uh, Shwaibu talked about... What sort of danger about, are, you, are you making reference to? Because when you say it portends a lot of danger, what kind of danger exactly? Yeah, it, portends, it portends a lot of danger. This is an election that is up for grabs for the PDP, both for these internal, internal issues that we have. And my brother Philip talked about, uh, Frank rather, talked about the, how Ayu will go. Ayu himself has made it very easy. The member, Some members of the uh, National Working Committee are asking after a particular uh, 9 billion. They are been raising issues about a particular 9 billion naira that is missing from the coffers of the party. And Governor Wike had also thrown a challenge that Senator Iyocha Ayu received 1 billion naira from a presidential candidate in, in Lagos. And that amount, that money was not paid into the coffers of the PDP. And that between that day as uh, up to now that we are speaking, Senator Yetra, you have not made any rebuttal uh, uh, on the assertion of the governor of River State. The governor of River State also went ahead to say, should you speak? Should you speak on this? He will name those who gave him the money. So the window is clear. By Ayu's own showing, it is very easy now to remove him on the grounds of corruption. So I, I, I thought I should share that with my brother Swami. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Honorable Chairman, uh, Dr. Chidi Lloyd. And also you know, recall, also yes. recall, sorry, sir, also recall that the chairman of the PDP in Kano had also yes. come out to address the press to say that he was in a meeting where I you said if the presidential candidate comes from the north, he will he will he will he will resign his office. So I you see this 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 back and forth is not doing us any good. By now we should have been concentrating on how to kickstart the campaigns, on how to, to, to sell this product to Nigerians. And you, I, I do not think that even Frank himself would want to, to say to hell with River State with over to 3.5 million votes. And uh, uh, Dr. Chidi, I have never, you see, if you, if you know, I no, have no, never... No, 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 I, I had had this discussion with you in a sister, in a sister, <laughs> uh, in a no, sister uh, television, or sister station. Uh, this is not you. This is a new you. And I'm happy. <laughs> it, means, it means we are making progress. Dr. Okay. Let, no, 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 no. Let's hear Mr. Chai. Yeah, Dr. Chidi, you know, you know, you know, through and through that I am not just um, um, uh, a spokesman to His Excellency Atiko Mubaka. I'm a friend of River State. I know River State very well. And I love River State very well. His Excellency knows that I hold him in high esteem. And I'm not sure. And I don't I make no pretensions about this. But interestingly, it is about the party, it is about the people. His Excellency is one man who is pained, particularly, even before the flag of the, of the presidential election, Governor Nyesom Wiki has been one of the leading voices in the criticism of the of, of the of the current administration on the tears, on the death, and on the, the kind of hunger that has pervaded our country. You know, so it is not, it is not, it, it will be completely out of place, you understand, for anyone to say, look, to hell with River State. Not even His Excellency uh, Alaji Atiku Abu Bakar. You know, but with profound respect, I tell you something. If it is about the people, if it is about the PDP, if it is about Governor, um, uh, the chairman of the party, Dr. Yotayu, 
you know. Interestingly, I'm not aware, I don't work in the PDP, I don't speak for Yota, are you? I'm not aware of any allegation of 9 billion naira missing from the coffers. I'm not the treasurer of the PDP, I'm not the national uh, um, uh, whatever of the PDP. But the issue is, I remember listening to His Excellency you know, a few days ago when he talked about a billion naira, which he just reiterated here. You know, which exchange hands, of course. But you see, though, uh, as far as I'm concerned, His Excellency being a lawyer, and you too, you know, I, I listen but to the glory of God, I know your, 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 your debts are your background. You know, you should know too that for, for, for someone of the office of the governor, you know, making reference to such delicate issues without clear evidence, particularly when he's a lawyer, and not, you know, not, not making, you know, straight, um, um, uh, direct statement to so say, look, Mr. ABC gave you this money and I have evidence. It's a different thing. But for me, when when, when they are placed, when they are based on the in closing, because you know, we're at our level, time, gentlemen, at our level, no, oh, hold on, Marian. At our level, it will become difficult for anybody to deal. Now, no, if, no, so, uh, my, you, brother, my, brother, my brother, Shaibu, my brother, Shaibu, yeah. let me say this to you. The governor yes. of River State didn't say it was hearsay. He said, challenge me, and I tell you, those businessmen that put the money together, it has left the poor view of hearsay. I want to no, think. And the mm. governor had come to make this kind of assertion on the character and person of Senator Yotra, you, I would, if I were him, but God forbid, I would have asked for further <laughs> explanation from the governor of River State. But be that as it may, be that as my brother Shaibu, I want to inform you Finally. that we have read on the page, on newspapers that a certain 9 billion naira is, 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 is not being accounted for. And that some members of the NWC have been offered 280 million each in order to, to sweep that uh, uh, <laughs> on, the, on the carpet. And that the visit of the pres vice presidential candidate to the house of Senator uh, Abubakar Saraki is not unconnected with that okay. uh, 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 issue that has come up that is presently rocking the NWC. I know you do not, I know you are not a part of the PDP, but some of us have people. Who work in the PDP okay. National Secretary? So I'm not right. availing you this information. We, are we have to go, no, gentlemen. No, I'm no, sorry, we have no, to go. We have no, to go. No. Chidi Lloyd is the chairman of oh, Moha Local Government Area, River State, and of course Frank Shaibu is a special assistant public communications to Atikwa Bubaka, who is the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Gentlemen, we will have this conversation again. Unfortunately, time is not on our side. Thank you so much for being here. Marianne, it's always a pleasure talking with you. Thank you very much. Marianne. Marian, we'll see you on the other side of the divide on May 29 when Atiku is sworn in as president. Well, no, no campaigns <laughs> haven't started. Neither has the election taken place, but good luck. Well, whether, whether they talk, whether they We have to go. Or... We have to go, Denzelman. We have to go. Thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a short break. When we return, we'll be discussing the agitations against the APC's Muslim-Muslim ticket and the turns that he has, it has taken. We'll be right back. <laughs>